that I pray over this connection. I pray, Father God, that you destroy everything that's going on with this live, anything trying to hinder this live. Um, we destroy right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. You know? So, that's what we about to do. We about to get this live started again. You know what I'm saying? Um... So, again, this is about the wealth transfer. The Lord Jesus Christ showed me. Again, I want y'all to intercede for the live. Pray for the live. Pray for the connection that it remains stable. Pray against anything that any principalities is trying to do for the, to the live. I just want you to pray for the live. So, this is what the Lord was showing me. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, the wealth transfer is about to happen. The wealth transfer is about to happen. And since the wealth transfer is about to happen, what that means is this. It means that God is about to use this money that he about to bless us with to further his kingdom, to advance his kingdom. Okay? So when we get this money, he wants us to further his kingdom. He wants us to advance the kingdom of God. Another thing he wanted me to tell y'all to get. He wants y'all to get the Ledger Nano X. The Ledger Nano X. You know what I'm saying? It's called the Legend Nano X. What is the Legend? What is the Legend Nano X? The Legend Nano X is a hard wallet that the Lord wants us to use. Because when this all goes down, what's gonna happen is people they gonna be trying to hack and get all of our money. So the Legend Nano X is a hard wallet, and when you use it, it secures all your money and it keeps your money safe from people trying to hack and stuff. Okay, and since it keeps your money from people trying to hack. Ain't nobody going to be able to basically steal your money. Now, y'all asking where can you get it from? You can get it from Best Buy. You can go on the Legend Nano X website and go get it. But if I was you, I'd go get it, I'd go get it from Best Buy. And you can get it today. That way you ain't got to wait in the mail. Because the Lord showed me when it's going to happen. And it's going to happen. This, this is what trend is going to happen real soon. And you're going you gonna to want to know how to make sure you know how to, you know, deposit. Just trust me. You're going to want to know how to do all the stuff when the time comes because you do not want to be waiting. You don't want to miss this, okay? Another thing, um, the Lord basically showed me the floodgates of heaven is about to be opened up. People is about to be blessed. Generational curses is about to be broken. Again, the Lord is about to advance churches, advance his kingdom. You know what I'm saying? He is about to advance so many things on this earth with this wealth transfer. And he don't want he does not want people to miss it. Again, the Lord don't want you to go to the strip club with this money. He don't want you to use it on strippers or going to the club or getting drunk or, or feeding your flesh. You know what I'm saying? Um Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be real quick here, man. I don't want to take too much of your time. Okay. Uh, my name is Ron Prince Nice to meet you. So uh, I'm here with Lumio Energy and uh, we're taking charge of the renewable power project here in the area. Okay. Have you been talked to about that here? No. No. No worries. Uh, essentially. So, sorry about that. So, another thing, this is what I want y'all to understand. This right here, I want you to watch this. So, basically, since everything is happening, okay, this is what the Lord was showing me, okay? The other night, I had about three prophetic dreams. You know, my wife even had a dream about the Sheba Inu coin, okay? So, I want you to watch this. <laughs> Somebody said the devil too busy. Yeah, the devil, he he don't want y'all to hear this word, boy. So another thing that the Lord showed me, the Lord showed me three months ago that the, the, the China stock market is going to crash, okay? So the other night when I had three prophetic dreams, when I woke up from the dreams, I literally, it wasn't in the dreams, was nothing to do with the Sheba. 
But literally, I woke up and I looked on the news and I took a screenshot. It said China stocks have plummeted. OK, so that should tell you something right there. Prophecy is about to be fulfilled. Prophecy is about to come to pass. OK, so then this is another thing that I want you all to understand right here. I want you to watch this. See, another reason that, you know, you can know that this stuff is about to happen. I'm going to tell you, watch this. This is leading up to the mark of the beast. Oh, that's another thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. Watch this. You know what the Lord told me? The Lord said, go buy a gun. Do you know why? Because when the web transfer happens, folks going to be trying to rob folks. So do you think God want folks getting robbed? No, he don't. Ah, right, that's another thing. Don't be out flashing your money, standing on top of your car, counting racks. Don't be doing that because you only setting yourself up for somebody to come bust you in the head with they you setting yourself up for somebody to come pistol whip you and take all your money. Don't do that. Don't let me tell you something. You do not want you do not want to set yourself up for failure. I promise you you don't. Okay? So then there's another thing. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all right here. Watch this. Okay. This is leading up to the mark of the beast. Believe it or not. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you how. This is how I know it's leading up to the mark of the beast. When the mandates first happened. Okay. What they said. They said it's a coin shortage. Okay. So I want you to watch this. Now they're going to be talking about it's a physical money shortage. It's a dollar shortage. So watch this. In the market, when the mark of the beast get here, they're going to be telling folks, we not using the currency y'all use. We're going to have a one world currency. So you can't. You can't use your money. And see, this is why. Watch this. Do you know why the mark of the beast is going to come? The Lord just gave me revelation. The wealth transfer, people are going to know the wealth transfer is from God. Do you know how I know? Because this is what they're going to see. They're going to see that everybody that got blessed is somebody that who? Follows God. So when the great tribulation happened, they're going to be like, okay, we don't like these people following God and we don't like God. So we're going to tell these people, you can't have your money. You're going to have to use our money because if you use your money, we're not going to accept it. And that ain't nothing but revelation from the Holy Spirit. So watch this. The Lord showing me that when people get blessed with all this money, all this huge amount of money, all this massive amount of money, people going to start getting pissed off. They're going to be like, you know what? We got to find a way to put a stop to this because the government going to be mad that people can't rely on them no more. And they don't have to rely on nobody. The government going to get mad. So the government, you know what they're going to say? They're going to call for their mark of the beast. But see, that's not going to come to the great tribulation. So this is what I'm trying to get folks to see. People that follow God, y'all the ones that got the ear to hear and eyes to see. You feel me? Y'all the ones that got the ears to hear and the eyes to see. So this is what the Holy Spirit is showing me. Okay. People they again it's leading up to the market because just like i said a one world religion new world order you know what i'm saying one world religion new world order you know what i'm saying i want you to understand what the holy spirit is saying today you feel me because this is something that a lot of people don't understand you know people think it's a game people think that this stuff it's, it's, it's like literally this stuff is not a game, bro. You know what I'm saying? People need to understand this stuff is not no game. This is about to be a lot of people breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? And watch this. I'm going to just, I'm going to just, I'm going to just pray. I'm going to just pray. I'm going to, I'm going to, Father God, I ask that you would continue to speak. I ask Father God, you speak and say whatever you saying to your flock, to your people, to your sheep, Lord Jesus. This is another thing the Lord is showing me. This is another thing that the Lord is showing me. The Lord is showing me this right here. The Lord wants to make sure y'all heart is right before y'all get this money. Meaning this, make sure that money is not an idol of yours. Make sure you're not idolize the money make sure you're not an idolatry make sure that jesus christ is the center of your heart before you receive this money when you get off this live today i want you to pray and say lord jesus cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness all sin and make my heart right before you that's what i want you to say i say i want you to say lord i want you to make my heart right before you clean my heart 
work on me in any way before I can receive this money. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord does not want us to be in idolatry. The Lord don't want us to put money before him. He don't want us to do that. You know what I'm saying? The Lord don't want us to do that. You know? Um, another thing, too. You got to think about it like this. You know, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, you know, for example, the Lord wants us, he wants us to further his kingdom. Hmm. That's another thing the Lord showed me. A lot of people that's homeless in this world, some of them not even people, they're actually angels. And the Bible talks about we, we uh, entertain angels on the well. So do you know what that means? That means God is going to test you with this money to see, are you going to give somebody that's homeless some money? And it might not even be a homeless person. It might be just an angel trying to test you. God wants to see where your heart at. You know what I'm saying? Another thing. I see I see churches they being advanced. Kingdoms. They be I see crusades. I see you 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 ever seen them things where people they be going to them revivals, but it look like they in a tent. That's what I see. Ah man. The children of God about to change this world. I see us funding um programs to help folks get up off the streets to help kids that's in impoverished communities and bad communities this is literally the stuff that i see this is the literal stuff that i see and can't nobody tell me this stuff is fake or phony or not real because the lord jesus christ is showing me this stuff because i don't have to ask validation from man i, I get validation from the holy spirit the holy spirit is the one who validates me you know what i'm saying so another thing Mm. The Lord showed me a bouncy house. Watch this. A bouncy house. A bouncy house. You know what a bouncy house is for? At the end of the school year, they always put a bouncy house out so folks can have fun. You know who it's for? Folks that pass the test. When you in, when you in school, what season is that? A season to test them. But when you out of school in the summertime, what they do? House again in the spirit. Word for Prophet Lovey. You know what's so crazy? I didn't, I, I didn't even think he was going to see it. But guess what? He ended up messaging me on Instagram this morning. He said, God bless you, man of God. And that word encouraged me. And I said, God bless you. I said, right back to you. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, Lord want me to confirm, uh, Prophet Lovi is a true prophet. And a lot of people got negative stuff to say about him. And see, so you know what I'm going to just say? Because people think God don't do this type of stuff. Let me tell you something. God will drop somebody dead. God will drop somebody dead that talk about a true child of God. Lord literally show me. Anybody that later, he's showing me the scripture. I will rob will. I will condemn every false tongue that rises up against you in judgment. It says, touch not my anointing, neither do my prophets no harm. And people think, oh, God don't speak like that. Oh, trust me. God do not play. It's a dude I watch on YouTube. The YouTube channel is called Cleveland Street Preachers. His name is... <laughs> Yo, he just gave me a prophetic word for Joe. If y'all ever seen the YouTube channel called Cleveland Street Preachers, his name is Joseph. That's the dude's name. That boy... Bold as a lion. And I'm going I'm to I'm just see what the Holy Spirit is showing me because he's showing me some stuff. Let me see. Holy Spirit, what do you this, I pray, Father God, you just speak. Have your way, Jesus. Mm, Jesus. And Lord, I ask that you give me discernment right now. And I ask that you confirm your word, Lord Jesus. Mmm, okay. All right, all right. Watch this, watch this. So is the 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 YouTube channel that I watch. It's called Cleveland Street Preachers. I've been watching his YouTube before I was even saved. I was watching his YouTube when I was lukewarm. I started watching his videos in 2019. His name is Joseph. This is a prophetic word for Joseph. Okay. 
I feel like the Lord showing me that he been going through some spiritual warfare because I seen fiery darts of the wicked one and it's trying to penetrate his armor, but he keep the full armor of God on. And this is an encouragement from the Lord to Joseph. Okay, so I'm gonna release the word. Give me one second. So this is a prophetic word for Joseph. See, he is under heavy attack. I'm pretty sure this like this is what the Lord showed me. Um, his YouTube used to get a whole lot. Now it don't get a lot. But the Lord about to shoot that back up in Jesus' name. Um, ah. I feel like the Lord showed me the Lord got a kingdom spouse for Joseph. The Lord got, got a kingdom spouse for Joseph. The Lord showed me that Joseph is a hard worker for the kingdom of God. A very hard worker. His name is Cleveland Street Preachers on YouTube. The Lord showed me that I see overtime. Joseph worked overtime for the Lord. Joseph has, oh my goodness. <laughs> I seen Joseph sitting on some seat in heaven. And that's how the Lord showed me that scripture. We see it in the heavenly places with Christ. The Lord has a kingdom spouse for Joseph. The Lord Joseph, the Lord showed me Joseph is a mighty man of God, powerful man of God, holy man of God, righteous man of God. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't play no games when it comes to Jesus. When he be debating folks on, you know, he be on the street preaching, he don't even be an, he don't even be a, he don't even be agreeing with him. You know what I'm saying? He stand firm in his faith. I feel like the Lord showed me that Joseph. He has a lot of uh, he has spiritual children, meaning he is a, he has a lot of people that he has taught and raised up in the faith. And God is saying he is going to be very much blessed for this. You know what I'm saying? Um, Give me a second. Give me a second. I started bleeding out of nowhere. That's crazy. Uh, the Lord showed me Joseph. He has a mighty calling. The Lord showed me that he is cutthroat with his faith. He don't take no crap from nobody. He saved, but he ain't soft. You know what I'm saying? The Lord showed me that um, he showed me his nine. Oh, my goodness. The Lord showed me his nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. I feel like the Lord showed me Joseph got all of them due to his level of obedience and his willingness to be used by God. The Lord showed me he has no desire to be carnally minded at all. <laughs> the Lord showed me he on point with his research when it comes to Jesus and stuff like that. He on point with his research, his knowledge, his wisdom, his understanding. His, his reward in heaven is going to be great. I want you to think about this. This man literally learned how to speak Spanish and he be going traveling to Mexico and evangelizing to people in Spanish. What type of what type of uh what type of boldness you gotta have to do something like that? What type of faith level you gotta have? What type of desire for God you gotta have to go do something like that? You know what I'm saying? Man be going to Jamaica, probably been going to Spanish town. One of the man been going to the, the, the place that got the highest death rates in the world, preaching the gospel. No fear. Nothing, no fear, none, no fear, no fear at all, no fear. So I'm gonna just keep letting the Holy Spirit speak. Mm. And I hear the Lord saying that the angels of the Lord are with Joseph forever and always. The angels of the Lord are with Joseph forever and always. I hear wealth transfer as well. The Lord saying the wealth transfer is about to happen in Jesus' name. Yeah, man, that's that's crazy, man. I, I literally went from 
giving a prophetic word about the wealth transfer and they showed me Joseph. You know what I'm saying? So, if there's anything else that, you know, um, the Lord is leading me to say, you know, I'm going to say it, but, you know, as far as right now, you know, I, I, I just want y'all to be encouraged. I want y'all to know that Jesus Christ is the one that's magnified on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I pray that y'all would understand that Jesus is Lord. You gonna need the other one. My Lord is Savior. Lord, I pray you find us live. Is there anything else that you have to say? I want y'all to lift your hands up. And you know what? There's probably a lot of some people. Let me see something. I see finances. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Have your way. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Finances is about to shift in Jesus' name. Okay, who on here got cancer? We gonna pray that the Lord destroy that cancer and stomp on it. If you, I want I want everybody to pray in the seed. I see specifically got like a tumor. If you got a tumor, do me a favor and pray. I mean, do me a favor and, and type in the chat if you got a tumor. I know somebody got a tumor, and I got faith that that tumor gonna disappear in Jesus' name. See. Of course it's lagging when I want to pray for people. Ain't that crazy? My mother does, my sister Sandra. Fibroids. What is fibroids? Is that tumors or something? I don't know what that is. My papa prostate cancer, age stage four. Okay. I want everybody to pray. Pray for everybody in the chat who got who got cancer. Pray that it disappear. Pray if anybody in the chat has a oh you got cancer on your ovaries. Okay. I have a friend that has a tumor. I have a a Heman Guillaume tumor. I knew somebody only here had a tumor. So let's pray for Crystal Harris and everybody else that has tumors and let's pray for d murphy his baby brother has stage three kidney disease somebody needs prayer for eyesight father god i want to pray right now let's all pray let's all intercede call the names out of everybody that has cancer that if it's you or somebody you may know and ask the Lord to make them tumors disappear in Jesus name. Father God, we pray right now. We thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray, Father God, you come in this atmosphere. I pray that you just come and make your presence known, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father God, that you will come in the midst of us right now in your mighty name, Lord God. I pray that you will touch every single thing on here. Touch everybody's body. I, I, do me a favor. Lift your hands up. Father God, we lift, we lift, we lift you up right now in the spirit, Lord Jesus. 
lift you up right now. Father God, I lift up your people to you, Lord Jesus, because you know that they need healing, Lord Jesus. I bind up every evil spirit attacking your people. Do me a favor. If you if you specifically have cancer or any anything you need healing from, say I renounce the spirit of cancer. Say I renounce the spirit of pain. Say I renounce the spirit of infirmity. Father God, I send fire. I send Holy Ghost fire to everybody that has a spirit of infirmity, pain, cancer. I send fire and I burn it off. I destroy every chain from every four corner, each corner. And I, I, I consume and I ask Lord Jesus, you consume it because you are a consumer fire. I command that their spirit will leave their body physically. I pray that they would spit their poison out of their body right now in Jesus name. I see what's the, what's the, it look now, it's not warts. It's kind of like, um, man, I don't even know what this look like. I don't even know what this is. I guess it's fibroids. Lord, we destroyed the spirit of fibroids in Jesus name. We destroyed this. We destroyed cancer on the ovaries. Father God, I pray you will make this stuff disappear in Jesus name and use it as a testimony to let people know that you are real. You still perform miracles today. Uh, we send fire. I take the sword of the spirit, which is your word, and I chop off and I destroy. I literally see like the tumors getting cut in half and the, the, the poison just coming out. Hmm. I see Halloween is where the Lord said witchcraft season is upon us. I see Halloween. Do not, do not, if you were born again, believer, if you're on here, don't celebrate Halloween. Don't do no type of witchcraft. Don't even celebrate it. That's the devil's holiday. That is the devil's holiday. Matter of fact, I think we should do a, a prayer against Halloween on that, on the very day of Halloween. Because you all, y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Father God, oh, that's another thing. I want y'all to lift y'all hands up. Man. If anybody has trouble with their eyesight, I'm going to pray for y'all. I want you to lift your hands and say, Lord, deliver me. Lord, heal my eyes. Touch your hands on your body wherever you need healing. Father God, I pray right now. I pray if anybody needs prayer for eyesight to be healed. I touch them right now in the spirit. I lay hands on them in the spirit right now. If your eyesight was restored after this prayer, let me know. Father God, I send fire towards the eyes. I ask that you send warfare and healing and ministering angels. I ask, Father God, you let your hand come down from the heavens yourself and touch and restore the eyesight and make it whole again. Make it stronger than what it was before. Make them have 20 20 vision, Lord. If they wear glasses, give them power to not even need glasses no more. I pray you touch their eyesight in Jesus' name. I pray you strengthen their eyesight right now in Jesus' name. Heal them right now in Jesus' name. I have faith who won't be over now. I have faith who will be now, but obviously your will be done, Jesus. Touch them right now in Jesus' name. Fire the Holy Ghost over them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Touch them, Lord God. Fill them with your spirit and the power of your might, Lord Jesus. Touch them right now. Touch them right now, Jesus. Touch them. Fire right now. If anybody got healed from this prayer, I want you to let me know. If you have a tumor and you see a swelling went down, let me know. Because I want to pray till it leaves 100%. If you have eyesight that didn't go away, I want you to let me know. Because I care about God. Been in seating for y'all. If you got healed from this prayer, let me know so everybody can see the miracle that God performed in the chat. If you had pain on your body that went away, type it in the chat. Somebody got healed with their eyesight. I'm about to take a screenshot. It's like film came off of my eyes. That ain't nothing but the spirit of the Lord. Ashley Marie, my eyesight didn't get, okay. I'm going to pray for you still. Shar Jones, her eyesight. Mm. Pray to gain weight.
Mm. There's a lot of people on here that need prayer for our sight. Okay. Somebody else got here. They said the eyesight isn't blurry anymore. Everybody, I want everybody to pray for everybody that got eyesight problems. Pray that the Lord will restore their vision 100-fold in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we pray right now. I ask that you let heaven come down in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will touch everybody. Touch everybody that need healing. I lay my hands toward them in the spirit, Lord Jesus. I touch him right now in Jesus' name. Lord, y'all know you can cure blindness the same way you cured that blind man back in the New Testament. I pray, Father God, you do the same thing. I pray, Lord, I stretch my hands toward him in the spirit. I pray you will restore their eyesight in Jesus' name. Touch him right now. Fire the Holy Ghost. Touch him right now. I don't care if I look like a fool outside. Touch him right now in Jesus' name. Fire the Holy Ghost. Restoration in their eyesight right now. Lay hands on your eyes. I pray right now in Jesus' name. You would touch their eyes right now in Jesus' name. If you got a son or a daughter that got bad eyes, I pray in Jesus. Touch, lay your hands on them. I pray fire right here. I hear the Lord saying, healing will take time, but it'll happen in Jesus' name. If you got healed, let me know. Because if you didn't, I'm going to continue.